It takes a lot of energy to power our daily lives. Some of that energy is right here. Natural gas, locked deep in deposits across North America. Abundant, cleaner burning, affordable. An American resource that can invigorate our economy and help meet our energy needs for generations. Combining horizontal drilling with hydraulic fracturing has made recovery of shale resources possible and less expensive for producers and consumers. This advancement offers more production with fewer wells, substantially reducing our environmental footprint relative to traditional techniques. These proven methods occur deep underground. With responsible well construction and operation, extracting natural gas is safe and effective. At ConocoPhillips, we practice safety every step of the way. After months of well planning and geologic study of the subsurface, engineers select and construct a drill site based on topography. Next, a hole is drilled and a steel conductor casing is set to stabilize the ground at the top of the well. As drilling begins, a mixture, typically of fresh water and native clay called drilling mud, is pumped in. This cools the drill bit, removes cuttings, maintains proper pressure, and creates a boundary between the well and the rock formations. Drilling continues below the base of usable water to a depth specified by regulators based on local geology. The drill pipe is then removed and more steel casing is inserted into the conductor casing. Cement is pumped into the casing, out the bottom and back up to the surface, creating a sealed cement reinforced container that extends from the surface to below underground sources of drinking water. This surface casing also serves as the foundation for the blowout preventer, a key safety device. To ensure a sufficient seal, the casing is pressure tested. Then drilling resumes down to the kickoff point, where a specialized drilling motor is attached, allowing us to drill the curve and horizontal sections of the well. Typically, we are thousands of feet below usable groundwater at a depth of approximately 10,000 to 13,000 feet the equivalent of up to nine Empire State Buildings. Multiple layers of impermeable rock separate the target formation from freshwater aquifers, preventing upward migration of natural gas and fracturing fluids into groundwater zones. Once the target is reached, the drilling assembly is removed and additional steel casing is inserted. More cement is pumped into the casing, out the bottom and back up to a depth specified by regulators. This creates another cement reinforced container for the collection of gas. With a perforating tool, holes are shot in the casing and into the shale at the desired location. The hydraulic fracturing process, safely used for more than 60 years in over a million wells, now begins. A fluid consisting of water, sand, and a small amount of chemicals is pressurized and injected into the well where it penetrates the shale, fracturing the rock. Many of the chemicals used in the hydraulic fracturing process are found in common household items and even food products. Sand or ceramic particles called propant are carried by the fluid and deposited in the narrow gaps in the rock, propping open the fractures so gas can flow into the well. To isolate the fracture zones, a plug is set inside the casing behind the perforated section and the process is repeated multiple times. The plugs are drilled out, allowing the gas and fluids to flow into the well bore, where they can flow to the surface. The entire drilling and completion process generally takes only two to three months, compared to the 20 to 30 year productive life of a typical well. At the surface, the gas is separated from the fluids. The remaining water is diverted into storage tanks, and then typically transported for disposal in government approved and regulated injection wells. With horizontal drilling, Multiple wells can be drilled from the same pad site, optimizing production while minimizing the number of wells, roads, and other infrastructure necessary to recover this valuable resource. All operations are executed to meet or exceed regulatory requirements and protect our employees, contractors, the environment, and our local communities. As a leading natural gas producer, ConocoPhillips is committed to doing the right things responsibly developing the energy resources to move forward.